Hello everybody, friends of seblogapsblogspot.com. Welcome to another tutorial. This time we are going to see how to create a multiple screen application using MIT App Inventor, a powerful tool to create Android apps. So first of all, we go to the home page of the project, which is appinventor.mit.edu and we click on the Create button. In the Create button, we have a welcome screen and then we have the list of all of our projects that we are already done. On New Project, we are going to create a new project called Multi Screen Easy Method, because this is easy and uh, uh, it will uh, allow us to create uh, basically uh, an application composed of three screen a main screen an about screen and a help screen and the user have a button on the top of the screen to select to which uh, page they want to go to. As you see, uh, when we start we have only one screen, name screen 1, and we cannot uh, change the name of this screen, but we have also the option to add more screen. So we will do that right now. The first one will be called help screen and the second one will be called, uh, okay, you see, add screen and it will be called about. So we will have those three screens and uh, when the screen is created, you see that uh, it appear here in the drop down list. Okay, it's taking some time because uh, it's uh, quite uh, busy the server today. So we come back to screen one and uh, we set the title to multi-screen easy method because this will be used just to uh, move from one screen to another without uh, uh, passing parameters between uh, a screen and the other screen. So let's start with the layout of our application. We put an horizontal arrangement and a vertical arrangement. On the horizontal arrangement we want to put two buttons that will be the navigation button for our application. So we will rename them button about and then the second one will be called button help to go to the help screen. We set the width to fill parent and also the width of the two buttons to fill parent to make them look more nice. And uh, of course the text on them will be about and the second button will contain the text help. Just as a demonstration I put in this uh, um, vertical arrangement that is the arrangement with the uh, main part of your application so here you can program your application behavior we are going to use a picture just uh, for demo purposes and it's a simple uh, background but of course you can put whenever you like. Okay, so here we have our image and we have our two buttons. Then I move to the help screen and I do again an horizontal arrangement and a vertical arrangement where I put two buttons and the, inter and the UI elements that you want to add to your application. Just for uh, this uh, demo purpose I will uh, complete and come back when it's ready. In the help screen I just put a label with some uh, dummy text that I took it from Lorem Ipsum site. As you can see, we don't see the full text, so we must put the width to fill parent and also don't forget to put the vertical arrangement height to fill parent and especially in the help page component remove the scrollable so the vertical arrangement will take all the space in the screen. So you have to do the same on screen one to remove the scrollable properties. Okay, so now we move to the help and in the about page I will do something very similar. So here I have put some other dummy text and the navigation button on top. Of course if you want more uh, button because you have more screen uh, just add more buttons but the logic uh, will be exactly the same. So we have a screen one and then we have the help menu, the help screen and the about screen. Okay, so 
this is the designer parts of the application now we must go to the blocks editor to program actually how the switching of the screen will happen so we move to the blocks editor and I want you to notice that also here we have a three uh, the same three screens and each screen will have his own components mentioned in the blocks uh, section of the screen so we'll start with what we want to do an action when the uh, user click on the button about so in the control we found the uh, method called open another screen with the screen name as you have guessed we must pass what is the name of the screen that you we want to open it's uh, very important to uh, to copy the text exactly as it's uh, specified in the name of the screen so with the capital letters uh, uh, exactly as you see them here so for example if we want to open the about we have to write about with the same case then the button help will do the similar thing so open another screen ctrl c and ctrl v to copy and paste the block and this time the name of the screen will be help we will do the same procedures also on the help screen when user press the main button in the control palette we find the open another screen with the screen name and this time the name of the screen is not main because as you see here the first screen is named screen 1 so we must write exactly the screen 1 text I will complete the application come back when it's done okay so the help is completed I move to the about that uh, I have already done and the logic uh, is the same as we saw before unfortunately we cannot yet uh, copy paste the blocks between uh, uh, different screens so we have to do this uh, piece of code uh, every time okay at this time it's important to notice that if I connect the phone via the I companion the the system will not uh, work uh, as uh, expected because there are some uh, limitation that I'm going to show you here is my application and uh, as you can see when I try for example to press the about screen it will uh, switch uh, to the about screen but uh, it's uh, very slow and uh, the system is uh, doing uh, redrawing ag again the, the interface so it's not uh, properly working as uh, we expect so to have it uh, work as expected I don't suggest you to work with the phone connected but instead you, I suggest that you build every time the APK to install it to your phone so you just select the build uh, APK and uh, to show the QR code the QR code can be scanned with the same i2 companion application that is running on your phone so when you, we will see the QR code on the screen we can scan the um, the code and install the application on our phone as I will show you in few seconds okay the QR code is ready so I can scan it with uh, my mobile phone and in uh, uh, some seconds it will uh, start the installation progress of the application that I just created you see the familiar install procedure and uh, I will proceed and install my application and show you how it's working here we go and as you can see we have the main uh, screen and then if I press about it's going to the about screen if I press the help is going to the help and if I press about going again to about and main going again to the main screen so I can navigate easily through my application there is however one problem that we can solve and uh, it will be solved in the next part of this tutorial and uh, it's uh, the problem with when pressing the back key if I press the back key as you can see we are not going out of the application but we are just going back uh, one step meaning that we are closing the current screen and going to the previous screen as you understand if I open many many screens one after each other this is not ideal solution because it's uh, a lot of memory usage of uh, uh, on the phone and this is uh, also confusing confusing for the user so with the changes in the code we can make the application have only one screen open at a time and when we press back we just close the application so follow me on the next tutorial if you want and thanks for watching by for now if you like this video thumbs up is really appreciated thanks